Hey there, this is Akshit Madan and welcome back to the part 4 of creating a tech news application in Flutter. So in the last part, we had seen the home.dart, uh, we were seeing uh, this home page. And in the home page, we had seen that why I'm creating this late future list because I'm going to fetch these uh, news from the API. So that is going to be returned in future, that's why I'm, I was defining this future list. Now in the init state, I was defining this uh, news is equal to fetch news. That, mean, that means this fetch news is a function which is going to fetch the news using my API uh, URL and then it is going to return me the list, right? So let's go to the home again. And in this home, the whatever results this fetch news was returning to me, it will be stored in the news. So in the last part, I told that we will be seeing all this designer part in the next, next part. So here it is. So first of all, uh, I am defining a scaffold and I've also defined a variable w which is going to store the width of this screen, right? So yes. Then in this home screen, you can see that I have a scaffold. Inside the scaffold, I have a background color, right? And I have given it to be black. So this is a completely black color and I have defined app colors dot black. So if I just go in app colors, this is a simple file which stores all the colors that are useful in my app, right? So yes, so let's go to home.dart and after that I have defined a column. So this complete scaffold body is a column and inside this column I have a search bar and in the app bar also there is an app bar. So let's go to this app bar widget. You can see that this app bar extends a stateless widget and implements a preferred size widget, right? So why I have defined this because I wanted to give it a preferred size of 50 height. Right, that's why I've done it, but, but it's not compulsory for you. You can just write a simple app bar. Now this app bar uh, takes a background color. Now you can see that the background color is uh, same as the scaffold color. That's why it is app colors dot black. Now this is the, this app bar is a simple container in which there is a height of 40 in which there is a row and inside this row there is a tech news. Tech is a different uh, string. Tech news is a different string. Tech is of blue color. News is of lightweight color. Perfect. So this uh, this app bar is very simple. I hope you got it. After this app bar, inside the column, I have a children and first child, first child, I have a search bar. So let's go to the search bar and let's try to decode it. So in the search bar, first of all, I have defined a static text editing controller because the user is going to write something in the search bar. So what I want to do is whatever user writes, let's say I write Microsoft. I write Microsoft. And what is happening if I write Microsoft and click on the search button. So let's try to decode it. Initially, it is empty string. You can see it is not null string. It is just a empty string, right? And this is a static text editing controller. The purpose of defining it as static is that this text editing controller content should be accessed by the functions, right? You can see that search bar dot search controller dot text. That means this function has an access of this text, whatever I'm writing in this search bar. That's the beauty of writing it as static. Perfect. Now in this search bar, I have a row and I have a simple container, a height 40. There is a margin you can see of 10. There is a padding you can see. Perfect. Then box decoration color is dark gray. And after that, there is a border radius of 20 of uh, 50. And after I've, I've defined as a row because I want to define this search bar and I have to define this button also, right? Now what is happening? Whenever I'm clicking on this button, this search button, you can see over here, it is going to call the fetch news function. Perfect. And this fetch news function has an access to this text editing controller. So whatever I'm going to write over here, it will be provided to this functions. And you can see it is provided over here and Q parameter is taking that keyword. So in the API docs only, you will find that this Q parameter takes the a uh, string that is to be searched or a phrase that is to be searched. So if I just click on this button, you will see that the function will be running and all the news related to Microsoft will be uh, shown. Right? Because now it is uh, returning all the articles that have Microsoft in it. Perfect. If I don't write anything over here, you can you know that the default value I have provided it as empty string. So nothing will be provided to Q and all the news will be fetched and it will be returned to the home.dart. Perfect. So I hope you got the uh, function of this search bar also now. This is very simple, right? Designing I am totally uh, leaving upon you. It's totally up to you how you want to design your app. 
So let's go to home dot dart and now you know the meaning of this search bar also, right? And yes, the and yes, if you want the code directly, you want to access the code. The you can check the description, right? Now after this search bar, I have defined expanded. Why I have defined expanded? Because I want to provide a complete available height to my this news list, right? Let me just yes. Now it is updated. Now it is showing each and every news. So in this expanded, I have a container which takes the complete width of the screen, and it is a future builder. Why the why it is a future builder? Because the news list, uh, the fetch news is going to return me something in future. That's why it is future builder. Now in the builder, I have snapshot dot has data. If it has, if it ha, it is having the data. That means news is fetched. Th then I am going to return list view dot builder. Otherwise, what I am doing? Elif snapshot dot has error. Then it is going to return the error in the text format. And if it is loading, then it is going to show me the circular progress indicator. Color will color will be color, app colors dot primary. The app the primary color will be uh, given to that circular progress indicator. Perfect. Now in this list view dot builder, I am defining item count as snapshot dot data. Dot length. Now, don't confused. Don't get confused with this exclamatory. It's just for the null safety, right? Snapshot dot data dot length. That means how many news I'm getting uh, from that API. Those many tiles only I want to create. Those many list tiles only I'm creating, right? Perfect. Now, in the list view dot builder, I have the item count of the same length, uh, same length of the list of the news, right? Then in the item builder, I'm creating a news box. Now, what is there in this news box that we will be seeing in the next part, right? I hope you like this video, and we will be decoding the news box. And yes, it's not uh, completing yet. We have to design this bottom sheet also. You can see this bottom sheet. That's the most beautiful part of this app. We have to define this bottom sheet. So the news box and the bottom sheet we will be doing in the next part. Till the next content, keep coding, keep innovating, and thanks a lot.